Bro, look how big this freaking cup is. I've never had a Trenta before. Fall, you guys, is officially in full swing. We got the pumpkin spice lattes. We got, you know, all the foliage dropping on the grounds, autumn leaves. You got freaking, it gets dark at like four or five o'clock. Personally, I love this time of year. It's my favorite time of year, man. But on top of that, this is usually the best time for thrifting. I don't know what it is, man. Cold weather, fall, and autumn, just all of that combined always is a good recipe for success when it comes to the thrift stores. So today we're pretty much just going to be going over to some thrift stores, get some thrifting in, see if we could find any cool cameras, any cool maybe even clothing items because honestly cameras are scarce nowadays uh, in our area. So uh, we'll, we're going to test our luck today, man. We'll see, but we don't have a lot of light left. So if you end up seeing a lot of this footage shot at night, it's really like just five or six o'clock. It's just super dark outside. <laughs> All right, so let's get going, man. Let's see if we could find anything good. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the thrift vlog. All right, guys, my absolute dream a dream find at a thrift store or whatnot would be something like a pack-on scanner. Like, I don't even want the cameras anymore, man. Honestly, if I could ever find a pack-on scanner at a thrift store, game over. Game over. <laughs> Little camera. That's pretty badass. Yeah, I'm just filming myself, kind of <laughs> going around shopping. Yo, check this out. You got the Dean Reds right here. These are mean. Look at that. Got the Grandma 2.0s. Check that out. They got a full rack of these joints right here. Here we are in the camera section. Last time I was here, I really didn't see too much. Everything was kind of just like the digital point and shoots and whatnot, but uh, let's kind of dig through this little area right here. It's always fun to just just dive straight into it. All right, I'll be honest with you, man. It's dead in this joint right here, so I'm not sure how long I'm gonna stay in here. I'm just gonna hit, you know, some of the more kind of common areas here, but I think we might have to switch over to a different thrift store. Man, it was dry as hell in there. There's really nothing. So I think we're gonna head over to the next thrift spot I'll be honest with you, man. A lot of these stores I am consistently going to on a regular basis So a lot of the times you can kind of just figure out whether or not they have stuff in But yeah, that was that was really whack. So we're gonna go to the next spot now uh, and see if we could find anything else Whew. It's been a minute man since I've been to this thrift store partly because they were closed for a very long time now last thing that I remember was that they don't really have too many cameras and when they do they're super expensive so we either got to get really lucky or we just got to be here at the right time on the right day so let's see let's see man if we can find anything good here I saw conscious crazy huh? crazy So I can't be out here living stupid. I love hard, so you can say I was shot by Cupid. Say less, but every and it seems like the only thing I can find related to film is this little guy right here. Now, this is the Epson Perfection 2850 photo scanner. And one of the cool things about these scanners is that it has an automatic film loader. So if you push this button, I used to have the scanner, it opens up, and this little slot right here just kind of like takes the film for you. 15 bucks, man, not a bad play. It's not the most advanced scanner, but if you are getting into film photography, and maybe if you're just doing like black and white, this is all you really need right here, man. You just download the Epson software off the off their website, get this thing, has a nice little automatic film loader, which seems like it's not popping up. Yeah, guys, if you ever come across any of these scanners, I highly recommend you check it out an amazing value for the money and they're pretty much always going to be here at the thrift stores and whatnot so there goes the scanner of the day 
these Epson kind of automatic film scanners, as long as they work at least. The only other spot they would keep film cameras here in this store is up towards the front, kind of like an encased boutique section. Now, I'm not sure if that's still the case, but let's see if we could still find anything up there. <laughs> Look at that right there. Board. Kind of back on the bottom there, please. Yeah. Do you need a Falconer Freedom Knife by any chance, Gino? <laughs> huh? Why do we have this in the case? Check this out. We got a Minolta autofocus lens with a Nikon camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. Filmmaker or? Similar to that, yeah. Just kind of YouTube. Where'd you get your shirt, by the way? Here. Really? Mm -hmm. Three dollars. Damn. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much. All right, so we found a nice little Nikon EM with a little 50 millimeter lens. Not a bad deal. One of the only things, though, that I gotta say for 30 bucks is that the advance lever was kind of slow. So as I was advancing, it didn't come back to its original spot right away. So that's a little bit of an issue. I'm not sure if it's gonna be an issue in the long run, but for 30 bucks, you gotta play it a little safe. So we're gonna back off on it for now. And uh, you know, I doubt anybody's gonna come pick it up. So if nobody picks it up by maybe tomorrow, it might be a cop, but we'll see. Guys, I just found the sickest Tatsun. Look at this thing, man. Still no camera, so this might be the last and final spot before we call it a day. The sun is going down. Not many thrift stores are staying open. So let's see, man, if we can find a camera at the last location. All right, man, we're back to the brack. <laughs> What's bracking? We're back to the bread and butter, the one and only spot. Let's see if we could produce today. Hello. Hello. Not all the time do we ever find anything in here, but when we do, man, it's usually something somewhat good. Oh, all right. All right, I feel the camera. So got a nice little Olympus case right here. But what camera's in here, man? Dun, 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 dun. Damn. Okay. An Olympus Infinity Junior with a 35mm 3.5 lens. Looks like it has a battery in it. A little fire though, let's see. Let's see if it takes some pictures. Okay, so it looks like it's not making any photographs, but let me pull this thing out for a better look really quick, man. Alright, now this camera right here, I've had a ton of these and they produce some really good images. This one is in super good condition, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. 15 bucks right here, no discount though, so. It's not necessarily a bad play, but that is kind of steep. Let's keep on looking. I'm not complaining, man. So far, that is the only somewhat reasonable camera that we found so far. It looks like we got another one right here. What is this guy right here? Pentax IQ Zoom 900. Let's pull this one out now. Looks like we're starting to hit the jackpot here for point and shoots. Another good condition item. Definitely a bulkier one. Comes with a nice little case. How much are we looking for here? Oh, sh hopefully it's not a <laughs> 20 bucks, yeah, 20 bucks. Kind of steep as well, but you know what? We'll hold on to it. We'll hold on to it and let's see what else we can find. You never know. Thank you. All right, man, so here's the black case. What could it be? Could it be like it? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's a flute. All right, gang, we came out with one item. One item only. Not the greatest find, but you know what? It's still a find, man. What's going on you guys? So it's the next day, man, and we're back at the thrift stores. Yesterday, we didn't really do too well, so I wanted to see today if we could find 
anything else to kind of add on to our little haul here so we're gonna hit up some more thrift stores we're in a completely different city and uh yeah let's see if we can get lucky today all right i don't want to jinx myself just yet but i'm feeling vibes man when it comes to thrifting a lot of times you can already feel whether or not you're gonna do well just by the vibe of walking in the store and so far man i'm feeling it now did i jinx myself let's try it out some nice little earphones all right so looks like we got some film photography stuff in the case and it's the black one in the back right there we got a nikon em right here what kind of lens is it 35 millimeter 2.5 Interesting lens choice on here. How much are they guys to put this guy right here? 124.91. Definitely not 30 bucks, but this one seems like it's actually in a lot better condition. You can see here that the advanced lever pops back right away. So this is good condition. For 125 bucks though, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Let's check this out. This is a nice little Nikon kind of case. Let's see 60 bucks okay series e 28 millimeter 2.8 oh look at that boy right here we got the quick shot mango camera oh shit. no way guys no freaking way <laughs> boys we just found some fire man <laughs> Let me tell you, just when I thought my luck was fading from this store, the gems just popped up out of nowhere. I don't know what to say, man. It wasn't there when I got here, so it definitely just got put out. So let me take you guys to a more little secluded location to break down this find right here. All right, so we found two insanely crazy cameras here, and I'm kind of shaking right now because for some reason, man, we kind of hit the most random jackpot so let me just show you the first camera first one here for four dollars and 98 cents man we got an olympus camera this one's the olympus twin i've actually had one of these before and surprisingly man the 35 millimeter lens on this bad boy is extremely sharp so this is a good find it's a good condition and for five bucks you can't really go wrong with it but next up man is a camera that i've had multiple multiple multiples of and for some reason they just keep finding their way over to me folks and that is the olympus stylus man the mju1 35 millimeter 3.5 lens five dollars you guys five bucks and it seems like this one is in really good condition like probably the best conditioned mju1 i've ever had to be honest with you so i'm pumped you guys we got two olympus cameras in one store five bucks a piece Come on now, that is insane. So we're gonna add this to the cart, but not a bad day to start the day. Way better than yesterday for sure. Four dollars and ninety-eight cents. Four dollars and ninety-eight cents. Thank you for shopping with us. Don't Ooh wee, what did I say? <laughs> All right, you guys, you know what time it is, man. We come to that part of the video where we unbox and kind of just go over our thrift haul from this time out now i'll be honest with you man we didn't find jack diddly squat yesterday so we did go back out today and luckily we did strike gold and uh it's gonna be like that sometimes sometimes you're not gonna be able to always find everything when you go it's just hit or miss man so if you guys ever do go out thrifting just know that you got to stay consistent but with that said we found a total of three cameras as well as one bag and uh let's get unboxing and testing I guess we'll start off first with the bag here. Now, this bag we picked up for $1.98. Uh, you know, super, super inexpensive, and I highly recommend everybody out there, don't sleep on the bag section at thrift stores, man. But I don't know, man, something about this one, and kind of just having it strap over here like this, if you can kind of see it here, possibly even stick a nice little point and shoot in this little, pretty sure this was like for cell phones back in the day, but we'll take the XA. Does it fit? It does fit. So that's perfect right there, man. So you got a little spot for your camera. Nice and tight. 
you got some spot for film and whatever you want to take man so it's a perfect little bag for just like an everyday kind of outing overall man i'm just happy with this find because for two bucks you can't go wrong with a nice little side bag so that is that and that is our first find for this episode all right now moving over into the less boring stuff now on the first day yesterday we found this guy right here and uh, let me just show you guys $14.98. That is a lot more than I am willing to pay for for a point and shoot camera. All right, so it comes with this nice little leather case. I always love these vintage cases because they have an option for a belt loop. So if you have a belt and you wanna just strap this onto the side of it, you can. Uh, but here is the main camera, folks. This is the Olympus Infinity Junior, I believe. Oh, yeah, Olympus Infinity Junior. And uh, this one is actually in really good condition. It has a nice 35 millimeter, 3.5 lens, a nice and sharp lens. I've used this camera in the past and they've never disappointed me. Yeah, look at that, man. Backside is nice and clean. And for 15 bucks, it's definitely still worth it. Let's see, okay, so it takes double A bat or triple A batteries. So let me go ahead and replace these batteries really quick to see if it actually works. All right, let's see if it'll power on. Bam, green or red light, I should say. Ooh, look at that thing, man. All right, so she's working and she's in really good shapes, man. So shapes, she's in good shape and she's ready to go, ready to shoot and take whatever life throws at it. So that is the first find, man. And surprisingly, let me just say this now, all the cameras we found were Olympus cameras. Out of all cameras, why Olympus? I'm not complaining, but I'm just asking, why Thrift Gods, why Olympus? All right, so the next camera that we have here is this one right here. This one we paid $4.98. Now, with this one right here, you guys, I've owned this camera in the past, but this one is very similar to the Infinity Junior, but rather than being the Junior, folks, we have the Olympus Infinity Twin. Now, the Infinity Twin gets this name because it has both a 35mm lens as well as a 70mm lens. So, autofocus is built in, and think of it as the Infinity Junior with the 70mm lens added. That's pretty much the exact same camera. With that said though, one thing that I do love about the Infinity Twin is that it's a lot bigger than the Infinity Junior. So the Junior obviously is gonna be a little bit more small, a little bit more compact, which is good for a lot of people. But this one right here has a nice kind of beefy grip to it. All right, and last but not least, you guys, probably the craziest find of our adventure today. We have this camera right here. So this was found right next to the Olympus Infinity Twin for the same price for $4.98. Now, when I say I keep finding these cameras, I recommend you guys watch every one of my thrift vlogs and count how many times I've found one of these cameras, man. These are, for some reason, always following me around and I'm not complaining whatsoever because it's one of the greatest pointy shoots that you can own right now. So let's pop this baby open real quick. Let's see it firsthand and whoo, man, this one is crispy. Here it is, folks, the Olympus Infinity Stylus, also known as the Olympus MJU-1. Now, this camera, man, has one of the sharpest 35 millimeter lenses on all Olympus cameras. It's similar to the Stylus Epic, but it's not the same. This is a 3.5, whereas the Stylus Epic is gonna have a 2.8. But honestly, the price gap in between, I mean, this is fairly still expensive. It's gonna run you between like $70 to 120 bucks. Whereas the MJU2 is like 200 bucks, 200, $300. But the quality that you get from this is insanely amazing. And I would go to say that this is honestly the more uh, worth it out of the two in terms of getting, you know, value for your money. The viewfinder looks nice. Let's see, okay, it's powering up for sure. I'm seeing the E on there but will it freaking fire? Let's see. Here's another way to check it out. If you open the back here and close it up, you should hear it. So it's advancing for sure. Let me change out the battery to see if it'll fire. I never noticed that it made a beep sound. Okay, it's making this weird noise. Let's put the old one back in there, let's see. Okay, so I've sat around this camera now for the last two to three minutes trying to figure it out. And I've come to the conclusion that hopefully it's just the battery and that it's too low because I've had this battery since around a year and it's kind of just been sitting in another camera. So I'm gonna go to the store and grab a new battery. God knows when this battery was put in here. So hopefully it's working when I come back with a new battery. So I'll update you guys right when I come back. All right guys, so we just got home from the store. We bought some new batteries. It's now the moment of truth. Let's see, man, because it wasn't operating with these old ones. Hopefully it was just the battery. So 
Let's close her up. All right, no warning signs yet, so all we gotta do is open it up and see what happens here. There it is. All right, so the lens is now popping out. Let's see if it'll actually take a photograph. Bam, all right, man, so yeah. The Olympus stylus is in good working order. It was just the battery, I guess, that was kind of at fault. There it is, you guys, the Olympus stylus, man. I would highly, highly recommend you guys check this camera out. And if you guys wanna see more videos on it, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys wanna see a video on any of the cameras that we picked up today, man. So that's gonna wrap it up, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this thrift episode. Let me know in the comment section down below again if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about thrifting for film cameras and whatnot. I'm always happy to help man and uh, if you guys have any good finds that you guys have found lately let me know as well Love you guys, man. I'll see you guys in the next one as always Minolta gang Whew.